Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Same Boy emulator on your Mac to be able to play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. There's some experimentation where you can try and play Game Boy Advance games with bare emulators for Game Boy Advance, so feel free to check them out like MGBA, Virtual Boy Advance, BGB. I'll have separate videos covering them as well. But to set this up, it is really simple. I want to say this video does not condone piracy it is for educational purposes you should always you know seek the rom files yourself so first of all you want to go to your web browser go to the same boy website i'll have a link in the description go to downloads and on the right side you want to select download for mac os you'll download it's pretty lightweight and if i open it up I already had a copy from before, so you just double click it, you extract it, there it is. Just drag that onto applications, it's now installed. So I've got some games here as well. So I'm just going to double click these zip files to extract them. Again, I can't show you for legal reasons where to get the games, the ROM files, but if you Google it, you should be able to find it. It's not that difficult. Oh, and as always, if you have any questions around how to you know, use the emulator, feel free to comment down below and I will help out. Just a little one last tip. If you go to the App Store, if you have a ROM file that you've downloaded and maybe you can't open it on your Mac, maybe it's a format like RAW, like it's a .raw file that you can't open, I recommend the Unarchiver, which allows you to open a variety of formats like .7z, .raw. Download this. This will help you extract that. Again, this is just a little you know, extra tip in case you have a file like that. I didn't, but just in case. And now I'm going to launch up Same Boy. If this pops up, that's fine. You want to go to your settings. You can access it from the Apple icon, system settings. You want to go to privacy and security. Scroll down to where it says same boy was blocked. Click open anyway. It'll ask you for your password or touch ID. I've just used my touch ID. Click open. This is just a one time thing when you install it. And now it's launched up. So there's a problem right now. The Game Boy games are greyed out. I'm going to explain that in a second, but first, let's just quickly go over the settings. So go to Same Boy, Settings. Here, you can literally leave all this as default. You don't need to mess with this. Video, again, <laughs> you know, pretty much you can leave all this. Audio, so make sure for the high pass filter, you've got emulate hardware, you know, selected and not disabled. And for control, this is probably what you'll mainly want to, you know, edit and you can choose what player you want to edit it for and to edit your control so if i want to you know change right you double click it let's say if i put l it's now l and that's it that's all you have to do and i'm just going to you know change it back i'll have you know you know you can conf configure controllers as well so, so, so this is pretty cool so if you configure it You'll literally go through all the keys and you can just you know press it instead of having to double tap each one. Again, you can go down that option as well. And there's some you know controller hot keys as well. Again, feel free to have a look at this and you can even you know use Joy Con, which is pretty darn cool. I'll have a separate video covering how to connect particular controllers up and in updates every now and again. I just recommend going here, check for updates, and you'll see if there's any updates and there aren't for me. Okay, so back to this issue issue the file that we want to open because it automatically opens up a file opener and if we go to open that's what it selects they grayed out and what happens if i drag one of the files onto my emulator you'll give me this error you'll say it's not in the correct format you can't open it that again the format will be fine most likely the problem is I've got another emulator installed called Delta that allows you to play a bunch of games like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, SNES, SNES, or is it N64 as well. But I've found if you have other emulators that can play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games like Delta, Visual Boy Advance, BGB installed, it conflicts. So this is one problem, you know, as of now with Sandboy, you will have to remove those emulators, anything that is conflicting. So again, because it was downloaded from the App Store, I can just keep it pressed, click X and delete. If you installed it using a similar method to Sandboy, you'll have to go to the application, then you know, drag it onto your bin. You might need to enter the password as well. So if I now get rid of this, now, if I close this down, 
launch Same Boy. As you can see, the Game Boy games are now selectable. They're no longer grayed out. If I was to double click it, it will also open it. If I drag it, it will work as well. But I'll just do it within the emulator. So if I double click Tetris, here we go. gonna mute it so as you can see we have the emulator working so right now it's in game boy mode aka grayscale you might want it in color mode by default i'm pretty sure it is in color mode so this is just some settings from before if you go to emulation you can change it so you can go to game boy pocket this will you know reboot it just bear that in mind you can go to super game boy which was the attachment for the super nintendo entertainment system aka snares that allowed you pl to play game boy games and this you know had color as well or game boy color and you can do game boy advance as well which is similar to basically game boy color i'll go og and now let me uh, play some gameplay actually before i do that let me show you the cheats so if you go to show cheats you can add some cheats it's really simple you just you know type the cheat name put a code in, put the description in. You can get this all online if you just Google the cheats. I'll have a separate video covering this where, you know, I'll actually show you where to get the cheats from. But if you literally just Google, you know, like Game Boy cheats, you'll get them and you just add them here. And I'm gonna delete these cheats. And, but yes, it's, it's, it is pretty simple. And then just make sure you click enable. And that's pretty much it. The only thing I wanna show you is the save and load state. And obviously you can reset pause, but save and load state is the last thing I wanna show you. And then, um, I'm going to you know, launch up the game. I can't remember what the keys are mapped to now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me show you the, the states. So if we go to emulation, save state, slot one, that's now saved. I'm going to close the game. It's closed there, but I'm going to file. So it doesn't close the emulator. Go to open, I can open the game up. And as you can see, it's just loading it from the start. But let's say if I'm, if I'm playing Tetris, you know, you can't save it midway, normally speaking, but with the save states you can so if i go back to emulation load state slot one as you can see it literally continues well that messed up there i can literally just go back click load state slot one there we go <laughs> that's like a little cheat there I'm going to risk it over here. Yep. Um, nope, I'm going to put that there. And I'll get two in one. Mm. Yeah, that's not too bad. Feeling like I might have messed this up. See, I'm hoping for a straight one now. Yes. I'm going to get four in one go. Oh, yeah. 
So that's it. Now again, I just wanted to for this pause you a second, and obviously you can just click there to resume it. So you obviously the benefit of save and load states, you're not reliant on the built-in save mechanism. So I'd say that's how you play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on your Mac. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.